If you are out here getting bullied by somebody, I don't give a fuck who that bully is. And motherfuckers are trying to, because you're encroaching on my life, nigga. Why don't I change your motherfucking life? You just take that like a bitch. You know how many people's story that is? I wonder on, on I can just imagine how many people's story I just told, except they didn't get off like that. There was no honest person to step up in their case. They didn't do shit. And their life is ruined. Sit up in jail behind some bullshit. Missing out on time with your fucking family. Missing out on career opportunities you'll never get back. All because some fucking prick with power decided to use it. Whether you're, whether it was racially motivated, whether it was an age thing or a sexually sexist motivation, <clears throat> or whether it was just he was having a bad fucking day and felt like you needed to have one too. Didn't like the way he responded to his questions and shit. It's fucking nuts. I mean, honestly, like police, you need like I'm not saying like there's very few of you. This is the this is the problem. I would say 80, 85 to 90 percent of the police. I'd say 95 percent are decent human beings that really legit wanted to take a job and helping people and, and, and trying to you know be a, a pillar in their community and, and, and involved in that kind of shit for the for the right reasons. There's a good 5% to 10% potentially that are the bad apples. Now, there's a problem with that. Everyone knows there are bad apples in every barrel. You got bad, bad apples in your black race, bad apples in your white race, bad apples in every fucking barrel, in every aspect of life, in every career aspect of life. You got good engineers, shitty engineers. You got fucking good techs, bad techs, good everything, bad everything. Same thing with cops, good cops, bad cops. But the problem is, <clears throat> the problem is, that little 5 to 10% of bad apples in the police force have the power to fuck up people's lives and fuck with everybody. That little one dude from that 5% that choked Air Garner to death, now has got everyone all upset looking at all cops like pieces of shit and you're not because of that one little fucking idiot. This is what I'm saying. There's a power possessed by them that they can't afford to have bad apples. Those bad apples make everyone sick. And that's all I got to say about that, my nigga. Take a look at what these motherfuckers are doing in Hong Kong. Look how these people are fighting for their shit, man. Pay attention to that shit. You don't have to take shit all the time. You don't always have to be a victim. You don't. You really don't. You don't have to. Just because you want to keep your fucking cell phones and you know, the high fucking pods and all this bullshit, this comfortability shit they give us to dumb us the fuck out. You don't have to take shit. You don't have to do it, man. You don't have to do it. Everybody's got to eat shit. I get it, but, you know, you don't. You really don't. You can step the fuck up and protect yourself, protect your family and stand up for yourself. And if you're, and, and, and to any police officer that I might have offended uh, with what I've been saying, if you're offended by anything I'm saying, then you're a fucking retard and you're one of the people that are a part of the fucking problem. And that's the truth. Um, I don't give a fuck because I just got done saying numerous fucking times how there are good people out there, good police officers I fucking dealt with personally. You know what I'm saying? So if the shoe doesn't fit, motherfucker, it won't hurt your foot. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You won't be the one complaining. Then. You know, if you know you're a good cop and this is not you, the fucking ignore me and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you, sir. And please continue to do what you do and protect us and keep us safe. That's all I'm saying. But to you niggas out there, like with the Maurice Hill thing, like the wrap it up on the Maurice Hill thing, you know, do I consider him a hero for shooting our cops? No. That doesn't make him a hero. But at least, at least his story didn't end with this nigga with a bunch of bullets in his back because he was a bitch trying to run or give up and they shot this motherfucker anyway. At least he fucking held it down. That's all I've been trying to say. You know what I mean? That's all I'm trying to say. They had some kind of march for this nigga. No, he didn't deserve no fucking march. He ain't no fucking martyr. And maybe I misquoted by calling this nigga a hero for sure on Facebook. He ain't no fucking hero. He's a drug dealer, piece of shit, criminal with society fucking up his neighborhood, ruining people's lives and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But... 
he wasn't a bitch. That's all I'm saying. He wasn't no whole nigga about it. He held his fucking ground and held his shit down. And he got to leave with his fucking life. How many niggas do you know can shoot six cops and still be alive and tell the story? It's your boy, Big Brother Bruce. Just my thoughts and opinions. Doesn't make them facts. Doesn't make them right. If you feel like I feel great, if you don't, then we can agree to disagree and keep a motherfucker moving. Signing off, Mom.